100% our company, our business is a leadership development company disguised as an insurance agency. It has to be something that is led from the top down. Example is not the main thing in influencing others, it's the only thing. We still sell, like coming up here in about a month, we're gonna yeah. be hard back at it, um, just because it keeps us um, closer to the field. And uh, it's, you know, I don't ever wanna ask somebody to do something that I'm not doing myself. Uh, and it makes you that much better at the coaching, training, you know, leading, um, process uh, when you're when you're in it put out that goal today that, that I would sell 30 life insurance policies today and I ended up selling 50 life insurance policies today and so the end of three days Monday Tuesday Wednesday I sold 97 life insurance policies 97 life insurance policies in three days oh and uh, just a reminder we still are recruiting heavily the territories that we have remaining in the U.S. and uh, it felt good to get back out there. It has to be something that leadership uh, exemplifies, that leadership um, lives and breathes. And you know, for us, that's putting ourselves, you know, in uncomfortable positions. We to always talk about seeking discomfort. The whole idea, the whole reason for doing that race, was because it was something crazy. It was something that I'd never done before. And this idea of seeking discomfort. If you seek discomfort, the world will deliver you pleasure. If you seek comfort, the world will deliver you pain. And the fact that so many people say it, we say it all the time uh, in my world, but how many people are living it out? How many people are actually executing on that idea? It's, you know, reading books, it's listening to podcasts, it's going to conferences, it's, you know, putting ourselves through, you know, mental and physical challenges. It's, you know, constantly surrounding ourselves with people that are operating at a higher level. And the number one way I know to raise your standard is to raise the standards of the people that are around you, meaning change the people that are around you. When you start hanging around people that are living their life at a much higher standard, you're it is impossible to stay the same. When you have a genuine desire to help people get what they want, you know, we talk about personal responsibility so much, but it's not until you've taken that full personal responsibility that you can even start that process of moving from your head to your heart. Absolutely. Because quite frankly, like when things are difficult for you financially, you don't care about anybody else. Yep. Unapologetically, it's like, I, I gotta take care of me. But once I've taken care of myself, then I can start looking at the other people that are around me and say, well, well, how can I help her succeed? How can I help him succeed? How can I help this group of people get better? And that's when it really does transition and it becomes this kind of servant leadership to where whether it their um, performance or production benefits you monetarily or not, it's just about the whole group of people getting better and the high tide raising all ships and knowing that, you know, I was blessed to be able to do this at a high level. Who would I be not to share that with, with everybody else? The challenge is how can you start looking at your business? How can you start looking at your company? How can you start looking at your division? How can you start looking at your group as a leadership development group, division, company, business, disguised as whatever it is that you actually do, whatever service you actually provide, whatever product you actually sell.